have 10,000 gumballs, and we want to find out how much chewed gum does it take to stop a bullet. But first, we got to figure out how to chew 10,000 gumballs. And as you can tell from our hair, this took us a couple months. Oh. <laughs> that got kind of weird, guys. Uh, let's let's promise not to tell anybody what happened here. I liked it. That is a lot of gumballs. I want to weigh it. 63.6. So we have 120 pounds of ABC gum. Not ABC gum yet. Well, yeah. <laughs> Are your jaws ready? What are you guys doing, feeding each other? I'm already chewing. I'm ready for a nice chiseled jawline. <laughs> Well, that's all we got yesterday, but we got some reinforcements. Let's get a voice. <laughs> all right, how are we feeling, boys? Not great. Ah, how's the jaw, Connor? <laughs> I think we need another method. Lunch is served. Mmm, gumball soup. So this has been sitting since overnight and it is uh, very nasty. You can see the double bubble logos floating around and they're all very squishy. This is probably one of the most abominable things I've ever done. <laughs> the John's going in, boys. Give him the John. <laughs> Ooh, that feels nice. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Can't wait till this is dark purple. Mmm, marshmallows. Oh, it's so sun. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh, that's not bad. So kind of hard though. That's kind of disgusting. That looks good. That's just right. It worked perfectly. It's getting nice and mushy on the sides. It's already chewed for us. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Ooh. That's mama's recipe done right. That is so sticky. All right, well, okay. put it in the rig. Just gotta do that about 50 more times. That is uh, disgusting. Abominable. But look at it. Oh, that's a nice brick. You ready? Oh, do you think that'll stop a bullet? It might. I think it's got a fair chance. It's got a fighting chance, boys. Look at that. If we didn't know any better, you could call that a cake. <laughs> a cake. <laughs> or a brain. I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yep. Wow. That's some good jeans right there. All right, we got four blocks of nasty gum that's been marinating in the shop for a couple weeks, and it looks like it's ready to shoot. How many pounds is that? It's got to be at least 80. 5,000. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I need some stability there, Cletus. Well, easy entry hole. Let's check out the back. Oh my gosh. That blew right through it like it was nothing. See the sun through there. A nine millimeter goes through one layer easy. Back up a couple more. Two layers. Two layers. All right, I uh, I didn't bring gloves, so now I have to touch the chewed one. Do you think we chewed it like three months ago? So our spit is probably fermented by now. Yes, aged like a fine wine. Got the original COVID variant wrapped in here. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. So you got to touch that, bro. <laughs> Two layers of gum, nine millimeter. All right, easy entry wound. Exit wound's pretty good. There's a second one and through the back, but you can tell it's definitely getting bigger right there. It's a messy oh. wound. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I need three, I'll do the trick. 
are coming for us. They heard us. Is that shot to the right? Yeah, it's that hole. Nice exit wound on the first. Second one in. Uh, that hole, I guess. It stopped right there. All right. So if you had a vest of gum on that was 11 inches thick, it would stop a bullet. But would it stop an AR? That is the question. Sick. So you got a red dot side on there. If I'm right, that gives you plus 10 accuracy. Uh, it's actually dead, so. Oh, minus 10? <laughs> Over. It looks like that one went in right there. Oh, it oh, oh wow. That is, an exit wound. <laughs> that is an exit wound. Hey, I found your first one. Look, it went through the wood. Oh, uh, yep. Came out that backside. Entered in there. And went all the way through very easily. All right. Well, three is no match for an assault rifle. Four blocks. This might throw me off now. Well, I'm still going to do it. Not without ear protection, I'm not. Oh. Quick disclaimer, guns are loud, so it's important to wear hearing protection. Speaking of ears, did you know that Raycon is giving you 15% off site-wide for the holidays? Now you do. Raycon sound amazing wherever you go, whether that's sitting on a pallet of garnet or trapped in a small cage, probably by your own choice, or if you're just chilling on a green seahorse. The point is, Raycons come in five stylish colors and start at just half the price of other premium audio brands, which makes them the perfect gift this year. And with free shipping and returns, gifting has never been easier. So go ahead and make shopping this holiday season easier for yourself by going to buyraycon.com slash waterjet. Use promo code HOLIDAY to get 15% off site-wide, or you can click on the link down in the description. And thanks to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Roy. Well, blew that one off, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, wait, come check it out from this side. Ooh. This is cool. All right. So one came through, right through here, and demolished that piece of wood, <laughs> and tried to exit through there, but it stopped. Checking the high speed, this was the entry hole right there, and oh. it looks like it absolutely <laughs> demolished the second layer. Like, absolutely pooped. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's disgusting. Ah! No! Ah. <laughs> but, look at that. It stopped on the third layer. Great success! All right, Elliot, what's the difference between an AR-15 and an AR-10? The AR-10 is just going to shoot a little bit further and a little more accurate over a long distance. Plus, extra power. See the difference in size on the bullets here. So that's the 15 and that's the 10. Precisely. Oh, those are does though. That's okay. Oof. Our gum Oofery. has been knocked out. Oh, oh wow. Oh no. Although, hold on. There might be a silver lining here. Wait a second. Our, I, I mean, hey, the yeah. last one's still intact. Well, our, our third cube is missing. It's gone. But our second, our fourth cube, like it never happened. I could have stood behind this all day. Oh man, check out the interior damage done though. Oh, zoinks. Well, direct hit. That's so. a nice sized chunk of gum. Anyone like ABC gum? Oh, that's it. That's the bullet right there. It is pretty warm. I'm getting cut by shards of metal right now. Oh, here, look. There you go. Much better. You can actually see the bronze. Ooh. Per perfect. Fire. is some dead gum. Yeah, you'd be dead. Uh, who's gonna lick it now? <laughs> lick test. Do I gotta do it for the memes? Do it for the memes. Mm. Oh yeah, that's bubble gum, all right, that's good. Please excuse Dan and Mitchell's absence. They uh, went to Walgreens on Black Friday to stock up on laxatives and they got in a fight with an old lady and she won.